Okay, do you remember what the gap those connections are called? Begins with an S? Synapses. Oh. Thank you, sir. I never understood why in the science curriculum at Key Stage 3 there is no teaching about the brain. It's something that's always baffled me and I think is important for students to understand. I decided to introduce the curriculum content when I saw the project advertised on Twitter. It's something that I've always thought should be important for pupils to learn about brain development and how the brain works. If you were looking after a three-year-old child for an afternoon, what you should be doing? Emily, could you give Okay, playful learning, following their lead and their play. Um, in terms of them knowing the roles of a caregiver, I think for them, realising that when we're saying caregiver, it didn't just mean mum and dad. And I think for a lot of them, that's all they extended to care for. I think once they established what it meant to be a caregiver or what the role of a caregiver was, then they was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I would say a caregiver is like a parent, a, a brother, a sister, someone in family or friends. They could help by um, like doing the playful learning, serve and return. Serve and return is kind of like playing tennis with the baby. Let's say the baby's interacting with something or like playing a game. Show interest in that activity. They should continue doing what they're doing so their brain can like discover new things and form new connections based on the experiences and like their environment. I've got a very fortunate and strong science department who are committed to our students. The head of science, Adam Roche, thought it'd be very beneficial for our students to learn about the development of the, of the brain in the first five years. Adam has, has been very keen on driving it in the, in the school. The students have taken well to the project um, and integrated it into their own curriculums within our science department. I think it's really important that we try to include this into our national curriculum in science. I thought that the lessons went really well and um, the students were incredibly engaged in them. You can tell that they enjoy it because they get all excitable asking lots of questions, giving lots of anecdotes, personal anecdotes about their siblings, cousins. Especially if you have siblings you might be left alone with or you're playing with and you can really understand how you're helping them for the future. It's just like helping out the future generation really. Yeah, it gives us like more like information about ourselves as well. Something actually useful. Like yeah. not uh, I'm not saying that nothing in school is useful but yeah. some like this like, is actually it actually helpful. helps us in the future. Like we can use this information to help others. We will eventually become parents one day or we will end up having to like babysit someone's child. So it's good to learn what we need to do. It's so critical for education, those first five years, that as a secondary school teacher, you don't have any control over. Ultimately, like through this project, it will influence them as parents and it will allow us, you know, future generations to arrive at school age five at a better starting point.